Indonesia once had more than 4 million hectares of mangrove forests. But logging and clearing for aquaculture destroyed more than half of them. We're on our way now to the island of Tanakiki in South Sulawesi, which is just over there. The figures here are worse than the rest of the country, with 70% of its mangrove forest destroyed. But we're about to join a group of villagers to see what they're doing to bring back their mangrove forests. Benjamin Brown is part of the Mangrove Action Project, a Washington-based NGO. In a pond, they can't grow because it's underwater all the time. So we want the tide to come in and out so that mangroves get watered, but then they also, uh, the soils are drained and they can grow. 500 hectares of mangroves were cleared here to make way for shrimp ponds, now abandoned. If mangroves are going to reclaim this smelly sludge, the walls of the old ponds must be destroyed. The community are also planting mangrove propagules in this controlled site. Later on, they'll be comparing this plot to another one just over there, where hopefully mangroves will grow back naturally. We've traveled to the other side of Sulawesi. This place used to be devoid of wildlife, but this is what almost a decade's difference makes, a thriving mangrove forest. Ben has been invited back by the village of Tiwoho to see how an earlier restoration project has fared. Bisa uh, dapat kembali untuk kepiting, kemudian bia, bila bisa bisa dapat di dalam baku ini. Yeah. Ya, reboresasi mangrove yang ada di Tiwoho ini sangat bagus. So what did this once look like? In about 2000 when we came here, this was all just mud and an old abandoned shrimp pond. And uh, we planted a little, and then we broke some dike walls in 2002, and it, it's grown back since. Amazing, about nine meters tall at its tallest. A dense forest with all the trimmings. This place is full of monitor lizards and little tiny tarsius in the mangroves we found, and these things called slow loris, couscous, and, and just birds, fish, crabs, everything. So uh, it's, it's, too, it's really too much to count, actually. There's a lot of diversity in here. So how do you rate? the success here? Uh, when your guide's bringing a machete with you through the mangroves, you know you've succeeded in your restoration. <laughs> 